Welcome everyone to the solution video for assignment 1 NPTEL Digital IC Design 2023. So this assignment is primarily about learning to use the unified current equation and the equation for threshold voltage variation due to body effect in order to come up with the drain current and threshold voltage and region of the transistor for long and short channel devices. So this assignment, uh, so the solutions to this assignment will be about me going over each and every problem and uh, spelling out the three equations involved that are the equation for threshold voltage, the equation for Vmin to get the region of the transistor and the equation for the drain current, right? So a good way to consume this video would be to pause the video at every question and go over the values that are the inputs to these equations and then try and calculate it yourself to see if it matches what you're getting right so we'll start the video uh, we'll start the solutions so the first question we have an uh, it's a question about an NMOS transistor with the following W by L, right? And uh, we are given a VGS, VDD, and VSB. So, this along with the common data should be enough info to get started with this problem, right? So, we use VTH0, VSB, SIS, and Gamma to get the value of the threshold voltage right the calculation for that is here and then we use the value of threshold voltage vgs vth and vds along with vdsat to get the region of the transistor in the equation for vmin right it turns out to be that the minimum voltage is vds and so it's linear region in this case and finally using the value of Vmin, Kn prime, W by L, VGS, VTH, and channel length modulation and VDS, we are able to plug it into the drain current equation, unified drain current equation, to get the uh, drain current of this transistor. Right? So, right off the cuff, it's not possible to have non zero drain current for non zero drain voltage. Uh, it's, it's, it's not possible to have a non-zero drain current for zero drain to source voltage and so it comes out that the drain current is zero for question one. And this, is the, this is the most basic question where you could have gotten the answer just by looking at the VDS value, right? And uh, uh, why, is it, why is that the case? It's because uh, if VDS is zero, it will automatically just come out as the minimum and uh, uh, so v min will become zero and zero multiplied with anything is zero right and yeah, so that was question one so questions two onwards follow the same format i will pause the video at i, I will pause to narrate at some point if there is a point of note but uh, from now on i will be uh, scrolling up through the solutions of these questions right so question two the data is here and we get the vth right plug in the vth get the vmin right the minimum value is vdsat so it's velocity saturation and the drain current right so these are the values given as uh, that are taken as correct answers uh, you can pause the video to check the workings. Question number 5 refers to question 2. So the data is given here for your convenience. Right? And uh, same uh, procedure. We get the VTH, get the Vmin and get the drain current. Right? Pause the video at this point to check the solution. These are the values. 
right? The only uh, difference here or point to be noted is that it's a long channel device. Now in a long channel device, one can take the equation to be instead of taking V min of uh, VGS minus VTH, VDS and VD sat, you can as well take the uh, min of uh, 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 VGS minus VTH uh, and VDS, right? Because uh, for a long channel device, uh, velocity saturation doesn't occur. But the way I have chosen to uh, uh, retain the unified nature of uh, the formula is by just uh, assigning VD sat is equal to plus infinity so that it won't come out as the uh, minimum value, right? Uh, you can do it this way or you can even uh, just ignore the VD sat because velocity saturation is not, it's a short channel effect. It doesn't happen in long channel devices, right? But otherwise everything else is the same. Only thing is now because it's a long channel device, we also have that there is no channel link modulation. So channel link modulation coefficient uh, lambda comes out to be zero, right? But uh, everything else is uh, pretty much the same. Right, so th these are basically these are two short channel effects, channel link modulation and velocity saturation, that don't occur in long channel devices. And this is the way the modeling has to change to account for that fact. Right. Then uh, question number eight. Right, we are back to short channel devices. Right, this time the region comes out to be linear, and the uh, VTH of the transistor is so and the drain current is so. I will scroll through the solution but the uh, point of note in this question is that the uh, there is now a body effect because the source to body VSB voltage is non-zero. I will scroll through the solution you can pause the video to uh, work it out yourself. Right? Get the value of VTH, get the value of Vmin plug in into ID, right? Same thing, right? Once again, these are the values that are configured in the assignment. Moving on to question 11, right? So in question 11, it is not explicitly stated in the question itself uh, that it is a long channel device. But if you were to go back to the assignment uh, uh, the description uh, we describe what is a long channel uh, device over here you may assume that a transistor whose width is greater than or equal to 10 times l minus a long channel device right so now if we come to the solution for question 11 uh, since the uh, since the value of uh, l min is equal to 2 lambda and the value of length of this transistor is 20 lambda, right? It is equal to uh, 10 times L min, right? And so it satisfies the condition of greater than or equal to 10 times L min. And so the uh, transistor must be considered as a long channel device, right? So long channel device means no velocity saturation, no channeling modulation, right? So once again, with those assumptions plugged in here and here, we plug through the formula for, we plug through the formula and get the relevant answers for vth v min and id right so this these are the answers right v min comes out to be 0.5 v min is 0.5 and the region comes out to be linear right so those are the answers configured for the assignment Now uh, again question 13 refers to question 11 so I have put it here repeated it here for convenience. Uh, the length is again 2 lambda so now we are back to a short channel device and we have a, a positive VSB now right but uh, this means that there is now a body effect right and uh, let's just scroll through the solution one more time. Right? This is the value of VTH. This is the value of V min and here is the value of ID. Right? And these are the answers configured for the assignment. 
the region comes out to be velocity saturation. Right? And uh, yeah, so with that, we end the solution video to assignment 1 of NPTEL 2023 Digital Citizen course.